Welcome to Jaya Maths. In the discrete mathematics, mathematical logic, today our topic is show that R and PRQ is a valid conclusion from the premises PRQ, Q implies R, P implies M and negation M. So we have to show this is a valid conclusion by using these premises, given premises. So in the first step, we have to use step and derivation part derivation rule or formula here you can see in the first step so any premise you can take first premise i am considering the first one p or q so it is a premise so it is a rule p next we use formula for this now in the second step so for the first two premise only in the second step negation p implies q i am doing which formula we are using rule t for the first step we are using the formula which formula so we have a formula P implies Q is equivalence to negation P or Q. P negation P implies Q we are writing. Why? Because here P or Q is there. Negation of negation P we can take. So negation P implies Q we can take. That means negation of negation P implies P. So we are using that formula also. Two formulas we are using here. Then come to the next one. Here we can use here for the third step for the same premise Q negation Q implies P. Here also formula we are using so that rule T you will get for the second step we are doing here P implies Q is equivalence to negation Q implies negation P. So negation P implies Q is there. So that negation Q implies P, negation of negation P, that is P, that rule we used here. So in the next step, take here Q to R, here P to M you can take so that next, here is the fourth step, so that fourth premise, P to M you take, so it is a rule P we are taking now. Here there, there is another formula P implies Q, Q implies R. So P implies R you will get. So that in the next step, fifth step for the premises 1 and 4, 1 comma 4. Here negation Q implies M. Here we used rule T. Rule T for the steps third and fourth. Third step and fourth step. So then here what formula we used p implies q comma q implies r then p implies r so that formula we used here so that negation q implies m you get so here you can write this as negation m to q this is for the first one and fourth one same premise sixth step here negation m implies q so it is also rule T we are using for this fifth step only for the fifth step which formula we used P implies Q which is equivalence to negation Q implies negation P the same formula what we used here here also we are using so negation M implies negation of negation Q Q will you will get so next step in the seventh one take the another premise Q implies R. So Q implies R. So this is the seventh one. So premises number also seven. So rule P. This is rule P. Next here negation M to Q. Q implies R. So that we can write negation M to R. So it is the eighth step here from the one four and seventh one one comma four comma seventh one premises numbers are one four seven here we used rule t so for these two steps what six one and seventh one what formula we used p implies q comma q implies r then p implies r we used that one next you will get negation m another premise i am considering for the ninth one negation m 
here ninth number premise. So then it is rule P premises. We are considering premise so that rule P. Now another formula you have it is a tenth one in the tenth step. I am using this one and this one. 1 comma 4 comma 7 comma 9 premises numbers are. So here what formula we are using. So rule T here in this step 8th one and 9th one I am using for 8th one and 9th one. So which formula P comma P implies Q which implies P that one I am using. So that which implies not P which implies Q. So that here you will get R from this you will get R how you can they say P P implies Q form Q you will get that is R. So now what is there here you want to show that this and this is the valid conclusion. So this one is there here this one also is there here from the first one and the 10th one what are the premises you are you have to write 1 4 7 9. Here the step will be 11. Here first one and ninth one you can write R and P R Q. R this is the first one R and P R Q. So this is rule P for the steps first one and tenth one. Number one comma number ten. It is what is the formula we are using P comma Q implies P and Q this formula we used therefore we can say that this is a R and P R Q is a valid conclusion from the given premises that is nothing but R and P R Q is a valid conclusion for given premises. So make it not doubt sunte oksari comment chayandi subscribe chesko pote subscribe chesko nima.